Luqman, with the name of Allah, the most gracious, the ever merciful. Alif, Lam, Mim, I am Allah, the all-knowing. These are the verses of the perfect book, which is full of wisdom. Promising a thorough guidance and mercy for the doers of good to others. Those who observe prayer and present the zakat and who have firm faith in the requital of the hereafter. It is they who follow guidance from their Lord and it is they who shall prosper in the hereafter as well as in this world. On the other hand, there are some people who follow ways of causing diversion from guidance, with the result that they, in their ignorance, lead people astray from Allah's path and treat it as something of least importance. A humiliating punishment awaits such people. And when our messages are recited to such a person, he turns his back upon them in disdain, as though he never heard them, and as if he were deaf in both ears. So give him the important tiding of a grievous punishment. As for those who believe and do deeds of righteousness, they will have gardens full of delight and bliss. Therein they shall live forever. This is a true promise of Allah. And he is the Almighty, the All-Wise. He has created the heavens without any such pillars as you can see. And he has placed firm mountains in the earth, that it may not quake with you, and to provide you food. And he has scattered in it all kinds of creatures, and has rained water from the clouds, and caused to grow in it, of different fine species. So this is Allah's creation. Now you show me the things that those whom you worship as gods other than Allah have created. Nay, but the unjust who do not believe in one God are engrossed in obvious error. Behold, we bestowed wisdom on Luqman and said, Give thanks to Allah. For he who gives thanks does it only for his own good, and he who shows ingratitude should know that Allah needs no gratitude. He is self-sufficient, praiseworthy in his own right. And recall the time when Luqman admonished his son and said, My dear son, associate no partners with Allah. Surely this act of associating partners with him is a grievous wrong. And Allah says, We have enjoined on every human being concerning his parents to be good to them. His mother is worn and wasted in bearing him, and it takes her two years to wean him. And give thanks to me and to your parents. To me shall be the ultimate return of you all. But if they, the parents, impose upon you to set up equals with me the things that you know to be nothing at all. Do not obey them so far as this wish of theirs is concerned. Yet keep company with them, showing uniform courtesy, love, and kindness to them in all worldly affairs. But in spiritual matters, follow the way of one who turns to me in obedience and repentance. Then to me will be the ultimate return of you all, and I shall inform you all about your deeds. Luqman continued, My dear son, even if it, the deed, good or bad, be as little as the weight of a grain of a mustard seed, and even though it be hidden in the hard layers of a rock, or in the lofty heights of the heavens, or in the dark womb of the earth. Allah is sure to bring it to light and take an account of it. Verily, Allah is the knower of all subtleties and all hidden secrets and is all aware. My dear son, observe the prayer and enjoin what is good and just and forbid what is evil and wrong and endure with 
fortitude what befalls you. Verily, all these are matters which stand in need of strong resolve. And do not turn your face away from people in scorn and pride, nor walk about on the earth haughtily. Surely Allah does not love any self-conceited boaster. Rather walk with modest pace and talk in soft, gentle tone. Surely the most repugnant of voices is the braying of the donkey. Do you not see how Allah has made subservient to you all that is in the heavens and all that is on the earth and lavished upon you his blessings, both visible and invisible? Still, there are some among humankind who argue about Allah though they have no knowledge, no guidance, and no illuminating book. And when it is said to them, Follow that which Allah has revealed. They say, We would rather follow that which we found our forefathers following. Would they do so, even though Satan was inviting them by that means to the punishment of the flaming fire? And he who resigns himself wholly and solely to the will of Allah and is a doer of good to others has indeed a hold on a support firm and strong. And the end of all matters rests with Allah. And as for him who disbelieves, let not his disbelief grieve you. To us is their return in the long run. We shall inform them all of what they did. Verily, Allah knows full well the innermost thoughts of the minds. We shall let them enjoy the worldly provisions for a short while. Then we shall drive them helplessly to a severe punishment. And if you ask them, Who has created the heavens and the earth? They will certainly answer, Allah. Say, All type of perfect and true praise belongs to Allah. But most of them do not know the meanings implied in it. All that lies in the heavens and the earth belongs to Allah. Verily, Allah is self-sufficient and is praiseworthy in his own right. And if all the trees on the earth were to be pens, and the vast ocean be full of ink, and besides that many more such oceans to replenish it, and were to supply ink to write the words of God, even then the words of Allah would not be finished. Verily, Allah is almighty, all wise. The creation of you all and your resurrection are only like the creation and resurrection of one single soul. All human beings are subject to the same laws of God. Verily, Allah is all-hearing, all-seeing. Do you not see that Allah makes the night gain on the day and makes the day gain on the night and he has harnessed the sun and the moon into the service of humankind? each one of them pursuing its course for a stated term? And do you not see that Allah is well aware of your deeds? All this is going on because Allah alone is the ultimate truth, and because all that they call upon beside him are false gods, and because Allah alone is the most exalted, the incomparably great. Do you not see that the ships sail through the sea, carrying bounty by the favor of Allah. He has ordained it so, that he may show some of his signs to you. Surely in this are important signs for every patiently persevering and grateful person. And when a huge wave covers the sailors like so many canopies, they call upon Allah, bearing sincere faith in him. But when he brings them safe to land, then only some of them keep to the right course, and some of them become indifferent. Yet none denies our signs except every perfidious, ungrateful person. O oh, people, take your Lord as a shield, and guard against the day when a father will be of no avail to his son, nor will any of the offspring be availing his father.
Allah's promise about the coming of that day is true indeed. Therefore, do not let the present life beguile you, nor let an arch deceiver entice you away from Allah. Verily, Allah alone has the knowledge of the hour of resurrection. He sends down the rain, and he knows what the wombs contain. And nobody knows what he will accomplish on the morrow, and nobody knows the land where he will die. Verily, Allah alone is the all-knowing, all-aware.